When you use a software like After Effects, there's a million ways you can improve your editing and motion design work. So we're going to break down 10 quick and easy ideas that you can implement into your ongoing projects. If you're ready, let this be your After Effects jumpstart to level up your arsenal of motion graphic tricks. Anytime you want to keep things simple, clean, but be slightly abstract, try using this line animation to separate your title or logo from the background. To create this, select the pen tool and turn stroke to solid color. From here, draw a single zigzag path to cover your graphics. Then increase the stroke width like there's no tomorrow, my friend. From here, go to the shape layer and add trim paths. Then just animate the end or start percentage from 0 to 100%. And don't forget to make those keyframes easy ease by hitting F9. Lastly, set your title or logo's track mat to the shape we just created. And now we have this really cool separator graphic. Do you want to attract more attention to your graphic? Well, try adding this flashy star accent. To pull this off, create a rectangle. Then go to the transform rectangle and animate the scale from 0% to 100%. Then duplicate the rectangle inside the current shape layer and offset the bottom keyframes by a touch. Then add merge paths and set the mode to subtract. This will essentially eat up the rectangle. To make this a stylized star, add plucker and bloat and decrease the amount. Then feel free to duplicate and randomly place this accent graphic around your project for maximum effect. Next time you need an interesting gradient styled background, try this quick technique. Create your gradient design with the gradient ramp effect or just a really cool four color gradient. Then go to effect, stylize, and add posterize. Animate the level from 10 to any number you want, and this will add movement to your background and give your gradients this nice hard cut. If you need a creative title element to bring more detail to your project or just want something to be awesome, here's how you can conform your titles to any shape. First, Recompose your title when it's ready and then go into that composition. Then go to composition settings and adjust the width and height to wrap around your title like this. Then back in your main composition, add the motion tile effect to the title. Proceed to animate the tile center to seamlessly scroll your text by. Then duplicate your title several times and offset those layers in your timeline. Lastly, create a shape or import a custom shape. Then set the track mat of each title to that shape layer. And just like that, you will have a seamless shape title. Here's another cool background element or texture you can use on your graphics. This is called a topographic design element. And this is easy to create with several effects. On a white solid layer, add the fractal noise effect. Set the contrast to 500 and alt click the stopwatch for evolution. Type time, asterisk 20. Then go into the transform options and set the scale to 250. Now add the fast box blur effect. Set the radius to 50 and the iterations to two. Now add posturize like we used before and do nothing. Apply the fine edges effect and do nothing again. Doing nothing is great, right? Now apply the extract effect and set the white point to 250. Apply the simple choker effect and set the choke mat to negative 3.5. And lastly, Apply the fill effect and change the color to anything you want. And boom, topographic motion graphics. Before we move on to our next motion design idea, here's a great idea. Did you know you can get 100 free templates from us for After Effects and Premiere Pro along with our breathable motion duck extension. This is where you can browse templates and apply them into any of your projects. Then you can easily adjust the parameters of the control layer and boom, a simple way to impress your clients or your parents. But also, we have over 25,000 other templates available to you to help assist you in any of your projects. So whether you need seamless transitions, infographics, graphic effects, or just creative elements, you can check out everything for your future projects, including our free pack with the link below. So if you can use a graphic for your project, here's how to turn it into a stroke animation using one effect. When you're ready, apply the Vegas effect from Generate. Set the blend mode to transparent, change the color however you see fit, and adjust the width. Follow up by setting the hardness to one, the midpoint opacity to one, and the end opacity to one. Set the segments to one, and the length to 0.9. And all click the stopwatch for rotation, add the beautiful time asterisk 100 expression, and that's how to turn anything 
into a stroke animation. Next up, give your work an instant 3D effect with another single effect. All you need to do is duplicate your work and go to Effect, Transitions, and add Venetian blinds. Increase the completion to about 70% and adjust the direction and width however you see fit. And I think I may have lied to you as, well, you may need to add the fill effect to change your color. So two effects, maybe. But hey, it looks pretty cool. One of my favorite ideas is to literally insert dogs into your work. Okay, I couldn't resist when I found this clip of this doggo. However, this is an opportunity to seamlessly implement people, objects, or cute pets into your scenes. All you need is the footage and the roto brush. Just double click the footage and paint in your selection. If you make a mistake, hold Alt on your keyboard to brush your mistake under the rug. Then move the playhead forward to let After Effects remove your background from your subject or dog. When done, mess around these settings to smooth out the selection, and now you can combine the real world with the After Effects world. Diving deeper into the design world, if you need to fill your screen with something, well, seamlessly shove your logo or icon that relates to your message in everyone's face. What you can do to pull this off is pre-compose your graphic and set the composition's width and height to close up around it, just like one of our previous techniques. Then apply the motion tile effect, then expand the output width and height and animate the tile center, just like one of our previous techniques. Then pre-compose the layer again and follow up by creating a mask to make room for your title or information. And nice. All right, congratulations, you made it to the last technique. And this one is all about using vector objects to overlay onto your graphics. So when possible, go to any stock graphic website. I like to use freepix.com because well, it's free and download a vector collection that represents your project. Then in Adobe Illustrator, just remove the background from the vector and import it into After Effects after you save it. Then you can place it on top of your title. Another way to blend your graphics is to place, say, a title on top and use the pen tool to mask out an area. And now you can blend your graphics together to help enhance your story. And hopefully all 10 of these ideas will energize your projects moving forward. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and always be creating.